In this video, you'll see how to get up and running with Jupyter Notebooks in Visual Studio Code. The first thing that we'll do is install Anaconda. And we want to install the Anaconda Individual Edition from anaconda.com. You can find a direct link in the video description. When you install Anaconda, you can take all of the default settings. There is nothing that you need to change here. The final part of the install can take a few minutes, so we'll speed up to the end. On the final installation screen, you can deselect both boxes and press the finish button. Now you'll see that there is an Anaconda prompt installed on your machine. Open that program and type conda install and IPY kernel. This is a package that you'll need to work with notebooks in Visual Studio Code. Select yes when asked if you want to install the package. With that, your Python environment is all set up and you are ready to use it with Visual Studio Code. Download Visual Studio Code from code.visualstudio.com. As with the Anaconda install, you can take all of the defaults during the install process. Visual Studio Code is a code editor that is powered by extensions, which are installed separately. Open the extensions view by clicking on the extensions icon and search for Python. Install the Python extension from Microsoft. When the install is complete, you may be prompted to select a Python interpreter. You'll also likely see select Python interpreter here in the status bar. You can click on either and you'll see Python followed by base conda. That is your Anaconda installation. Go ahead and select it. Now let's create your first notebook. Click on view in the menu and select command palette. Type new notebook and select create new blank notebook. You'll see a new Jupyter notebook in the Visual Studio Code editor area. Let's change this first cell from Python to Markdown. And we'll add a header that says my first notebook and click the check icon to see it rendered on the page. Nice. Now click the code button to add another cell below the Markdown cell for Python code. Use the print command to print hello world. Click the play button next to the cell to execute the code. If you are on Windows, you may see a warning from Windows Firewall. Click Allow Access to allow access to Visual Studio Code. The Python code will be executed and displayed in the output below the cell. You can save this notebook to your file system. Let's say we put it in a folder called My Notebooks. One of the neat things about Visual Studio Code is that you can open whole folders and see what's inside them. So we can open the My Notebooks folder. Click Yes, I trust the authors because you are the author. Then you can see your notebook here in the sidebar. And we can create another notebook in this same folder right here in Visual Studio Code by clicking the Create File icon and creating a new file with the extension .ipynb. And with that, you are up and running with Jupyter Notebooks in Visual Studio Code.